Okay, I'm gonna go back and save. But, uh... Hello ladies and gentlemen lads, my name is Avakita, and today we are doing a part 2 of the game that I absolutely love. It is called Time Here Is Still, or Time Is Still Here, I don't exactly remember. But this was a game I played uh, a few weeks ago, I really liked it. Uh, it didn't get a lot of views, I'm not gonna lie, not really proud of that, but... I really do need to do a part 2, and I was gonna do a Morris video, but I looked on the average time for videos, and that was like an hour... So what I have to, I have to find another time to do that because I have company over, but uh, I do highly recommend look uh watching episode one and remember this game contains some uh abuse and other like hard topics and uh yeah hold on. A long yellow hallway, a floating head who talks of monster trucks and places in between. A painting, three of plenty, each with someone in need of moving on. Search is a horror puzzle game, Time is, Sol time is Solitude, that's the game. Recently selected for da 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 da. Anyways, I did part one, so please go check that out. And check out Algebra Falcon. This is a really good game. If you want to play it, it'll be free in the description below. I did lose all my uh, progress, but I did replay through it real quick. Forgot how loud it is. And, uh, let's get right into it. So, this is where we left off. We finished the grandma painting and the, uh, kid painting with all the puzzles, and we're gonna talk to him. Now, what can I help you with? Is there anything you want to learn about? Who Gerard is? Hmm, this is certainly an interesting question to ask. Let me put it this way. Maybe in another life, the, oh, the... Not a big boat, mind you. I can't say I'm a freighter kind of guy. But maybe a canoe, a long one. And on this canoe, I take people around, bring them where they need to be. I feel like that sums it up pretty well. What is this place? Huh. Could ask the same question myself. Look, I do know this. There's an upstairs and a downstairs in this world. If you have not noticed, when you came in, you were sent you were sent every which way, down, up, and down again. See, this place is somewhere in between. It's for people whose fates are so- ah! Heh. No endless hellfire, no heavenly banquets either. It's no wonder a place like this is so stock still. A little boring, if you ask me. Alright, we have one more painting. Let's do this. Hey! That painting over there, it's a dangerous one. I would save with me before you head there, huh? Less risk losing everything. Okay, you know it's bad, because the last two were easy. There's a painting here. Would you like to clean it? Oh, that's not disturbing. Now loading. There's a pl placard on the wall. In the middle of this place, you will find the emergency generator. Your journey begins here. C. I can't sprint. There's a pile of trash here. It's too dark to see what's inside of it. Is this where the horror aspect kicks in? There's a locker here. Would you like to rummage around inside of it? 
It appears the locker on each side of the walls are connected. You emerge on the other side. It looks like you need a key card to get in. When you were in the locker, you brushed past a small plastic object. You obtained a key card. Here lies the nursery. Wherever lies inside must be protected. To enter, four keys are needed. Al Huzm. Al Ref Do. I can't read all that. Let's see. Use the key card. It appears to be a generator of some sort. Would you like to turn it on? Yes. Emergency lights have come on. That sound it came from outside. The room kept killing my cleaner, so I had the bright idea to deal with it myself. Never doing that again. The and as if it wasn't enough, there's was monsters out there. I barely made it back out defending lives, so you, dear reader, proceed with caution, learn his movements. Rummage in the junk for its four keys while the monster is at bay. And you might just make it through with all of your bodily functions intact. See. <gasps> oh God, what was that? Oh my Lord. To the power of trash. Go. And who says that RPG Maker games can't be terrifying? Oh my lord. <sighs> it deals, Neil. <sighs> Okay, let's take a second, everyone, to collect ourselves, because Jesus H. Christ, I'm terrified. Oh, I have a headache. Oh, oh my days. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on. I need an ibuprofen and a glass of water. I'm dying. <laughs> Back. I've collected myself. Oh my lord. I'm dying. Hi. Okay. Where is he? There he is. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm I'm super on edge. That was I'm so glad I didn't play this during one of my uh sleep deprived gaming videos. Damn it! Game over. Our first game over screen. Oh. Uh, uh. So we should still have the first two keys. And from what that monster looks like, yeah, that's what it is. So he seems to go around in like a loop. Okay, I'm gonna go back and save, but uh. Okay, there he is. Now he's going up there. We will wait for him to run down there and then we'll go up. God damn it! Alright, go, 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 go. Quickly save! We have all the keys. And we still got time. We have 13 more minutes. Let's try and beat this so I don't need to do it anymore. Shoot, shoot. So, it's like, the thing in the painting, that thing right there, the thing that's chasing me? That's what I want to know. If you, guys came, if you guys came for good gameplay, you came to the wrong channel. We did it! I don't like what's playing. That's terrifying. But, uh... Yeah, if you also came for, like, theorizing or stuff, also in the wrong channel... B -b -b but <sighs> I 
really enjoying this. Who? Who are you? Get a little closer, kid, so I can see you. I see. I have no idea who the hell you are. <laughs> I need to blow that out. Cough. Yak. Who are you? I am really messed up. I'm here to help. Heh. <laughs> if I had a nickel every time I'd heard that, I'd... I'd have a lot of nickels. See, the type of people who say that crap, well, they're not the type of people who did the same things I did. It's one of those takes one to know one sort of thing. Cough. It... What made you like this? That's a good question. Was it my country? Or was it me? You look like a heart. I guess you're the first other person I've ever seen in here. Maybe I owe you an explanation. I am, was a soldier. The kind where you had to shoot people. I can't even remember why I become, became one. I think because my dad was one, and his dad was one. God, I didn't even think. Maybe it was those games I played. The old ones with the... Ah! I think you should already know what it's... Know that it's not like that in real life. The people barely making by fighting with scrap and determination against a force that shoved a boot down their throats. Well, they're the ones we shot with high-powered explosive rounds miles away in the sky. So were you in the Navy? Not the Navy, the Air Force. But still, I found a way to justify things. They drew first blood. Look at all the cruel things they do. And on and on. Which is a real thing soldiers will like. They'll like dehumanize the enemy. Listen. Do you know what we were told to do when moving. When a moving vehicle entered our sights? Go take pot shots at them. We said that it was okay. They knew these roads were off limits. And we always promised to shoot at the ground in front of them first. None of that was true. And do you know the worst thing? I enjoyed all the killing. When I'd hit someone a mile away going really fast, the guys next to me would pat me on the back and smile. Good job. It wasn't much different than a game. And that was just the beginning. Shooting these drivers who were just trying to leave. It made the people there mad. So they threw rocks at us and then threw explosives too. We responded by kidnapping nearly every man in the middle of the night. After that, well, a friend of mine showed me a picture. And they had a pyramid of naked, shivering, dying prisoners. And they were stand standing behind them, smiling. Taking the photo in my hand, I felt as if I was staring into hell itself. Even then, though, there was this part of me. The part of me that bubbled up from inside. It revealed the suffering of these people. Felt they deserved it. It reveled in the suffering. What was inside of me, it was a monster, no doubt, and it was beginning to split away. I felt I had no choice. I downed a bottle of liquor that made my throat burn and took a drive in the mountains. That's the last thing I remember. It's no wonder then that I'm in a place like this. Cough yak. What about you though? I've talked long enough. I feel like it's your turn. Why are you here? Look at you. That silent face. Do you even know? I don't know why I'm here. And what purpose of your, and what purpose that, and what would that purpose of yours be? To help others. That is bullcrap. The kind of people who are sent down here, that isn't their purpose. But listen, if you really want to help someone else, I have a favor to ask you. Do you see the machine on my left? I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling it's been that. 
it's been what kept me alive all this time. I don't like it here, so I would have shut the thing off a long time ago. However, as you're able to see, I can't move around very much, so I haven't really been able to do that. So do you think you'll be able to shut the machine off? Let me move on to Ambrose. Mr. Minex, of course it's your choice whether or not you wanted to let me exit this thing gracefully. It's not. I'm not really in a position to force your hand. Just do what you want. Do what you feel is right. I want to look around first. Okay, look around enough. Turn the machine off. Yes. Thank you. Still can't sprint down here. But the music. Oh, nope. Music's different. It's kind of like the one we heard in the maze. Sprinting would be really nice right now, but, uh, yeah, that was sad. I mean, I, the last one actually made me cry and made me so vulnerable to the point where I, like, texted my friends going, I'm sorry for everything I've done. It was funny. Oh, tell me what you guys think. I'm thinking about changing my channel name to Clover the One, because Clover is another name I started using online. I don't know. I'm probably, uh, it's a sudden change and, like, I don't know, but I might. I might. Is the monster still there? Oh, hi. Oh, I can't read all that. Oh. I can't rummage through them anymore, meaning that the monster's just gone. That wasn't disturbing. I hate that voice. That will, like, that, like, stuff uses, mainly the Mandela. Kind of looks like a photo. It's painting here. You work with it as complete. I see the monster has moved on. Listen, as you may already know, I'm very, I'm very willing to put a great risk, risk of losing life in them just now. But, and this is a big but, I did it with good reason. See, you may think I'm, I'm some kind of lazy bum, but I was once a, a spring chicken like you. And back then I tried to clean that damn painting myself. However, I soon reached a point where I knew that staying any longer would certainly result in my death. If that were to happen, who would be the, here to guide people along, save their game, and give them moral encouragement? Nobody. And look at where that choice brought me. You were able to get that poor soul to move on, and all with my help. Now I know you're, you may still be very justifiably angry at me right now, and I want to assure you, your feelings are valid. Ah, I feel so validated! <laughs> However... I think I know a way I can make it up to you. I'll tell you about things I never tell anyone who steps foot here. And this isn't just because you're the first one to survive that painting, mind you. Just give me a talking to if you're interested. And what can I help you with? Is there anything you want to learn about? Who are you? You? Six, six. You're really making me think hard, pal. See, when someone walks in here, it's not like I know all about them. I have this feeling of what they did, their past, but but it's just that, a feeling. Let me put it this way. Do you know when, when you wake up and you only remember your dream, but only parts of it? And those parts, what you do remember, sometimes they can be really hazy. Well, it's like that. All I have is a collection of bits and bobs, and they're all muddied up. But I can try and make sense of them for you, because you're my friend. Well, let's see. You are a person who likes to figure out 
What's up from down? Oh, oh, we're almost off time. A detective, perhaps, or maybe just someone who likes puzzle games. One second, ladies. One second, ladies and gentlemen, lads. We are almost out of time. Give me one second. Okay, we're back. A detective, perhaps, or maybe just someone who likes puzzle games. You're always, you're always in a, in for a good fight too. Then you saw the things that were strange. That is all. What can I help you with? Save my game. Talk to me. Sorry, guys. Quality's gonna go down. I'm downloading the game. The video. What your purpose is. Ah. The toughest question of them all. I don't even know what my purpose is, man. Okay, yeah, it's still recording. How am I going to know yours? Well, I guess I'm the one who put this down as, as a conversation topic. And you are my friend now. I figure I do owe you at least an attempt at explaining this stuff. My guess is your purpose isn't too different than those of the people you dealt with. See, um, how do I put this? Time is solid here. Ep, ep. That's the name of the game. Name of the game. This place has a habit of keeping people still and silent, letting the days blend together until they're able to move on. That is, and why you think that you're different? I don't know. You very well might be in a standstill of your own, but I have an inkling that I have an inkling that there's a way out of it. Just like there are, there was for people in the paintings, and I also have an inkling that. Well, you you know exactly what to do next. What I'm saying is this, friend. If you don't see each other on the other side, I bid you farewell. I had a hell of a time helping you out. Sorry, I couldn't, it wouldn't let me back out of it. No. I didn't want this. Oh. There's a painting here. Would you like to clean it? You recognize the painting very, very well. Just like before, a small voice seems to be calling you from within. It says, The end. And that's the game, ladies and gentlemen, lads. God, I loved that. Oh, that was so good. Oh, my God. But, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, if you guys go, just go, please watch part one if you haven't already. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, put uh, subscribe and leave a comment if there's any other games you want me to play. As usual, this game will be in the description down below. It's free, it's on itch.io, it's on browser, so you don't need to download anything. And also, don't forget to check out uh, Dizzy Shark. He is a guy I edit for. And I will see you in the ne in the next video. Have a wonderful evening, everyone.